So Banjo Kazooie starts with bottles um, emerging from the underground and Banjo descending into the underground into sleep. Both processes begin the game as if bottles is what emerges when Banjo is asleep. Bottles lives in the darkness where things are hazy and unclear and in his short-sightedness he um, mistakes Gruntilda for Banjo himself. As if Banjo in his dream state is suddenly encountering all of his projections. Things are hazy, things are unclear in this dream state and he needs to emerge to wake up as Bottles does. It is funny then that Bottles is the character who teaches you moves in the game because he probably is the character that most breaks the fourth wall in this regard. He references buttons, he references actual aspects of the controls that only the player can know and yet Bottles knows them too. It's as if Bottles is in contact with the inner structure of the game itself. And of course, Bottles lives underground. If you were to look at the render of his molehill, there is nothing underneath it, actually. Nothing is rendered underneath it. So when Bottles descends down, he is not actually descending into an area within the game. Instead, by descending, he is exiting the game and therefore acquiring meta-knowledge of the structure itself. It is funny that this theme is associated with his short-sightedness as with the image of the blind seer or these blind mystics in mythology who see into the inner world precisely by not seeing into the outer because the same kind of role is adopted by Funky in Donkey Kong Country 3 so to speak he wears shades uh, a sort of a clear symbol on his eyes that in a sense obscures his eyes and and yet he has knowledge of the entire structure of how machines uh, and vehicles and movement is built in the game. Another interesting correlation to these kind of helper characters is how in Conker's Bad Fur Day the helper character is Beardy. Um, besides his name starting with the B as Bottles, he is also tied to the ground. Bottles can't move from the place where he is. Of course, there is a design necessity for this within the game because the helper character can't move around. You have to be able to find them always in the same spot. They are a location. They are an object as much as they are an actual character. But this gives them a certain numinous quality because it ties them to the earth. It gives them roots to the very structure of the game. Again, Beardy knows how the buttons work because his roots delve deep and out of the game's rendered zone. It is interesting then that if Bottles and Funky serve a similar role, how their characters, their archetypes transition in very similar ways. For instance, Funky is first this sort of person who knows the inner secrets of the game and then becomes a warrior. He becomes a soldier. His archetype emerges into like Mars. It emerges into uh, a much more intense form of, of action. As does Bottles. Bottles is death makes his brother emerge, also a, a, a soldier, um, this warrior spirit that comes from 
these helping characters who are stationed in still places. As if they can't be still for too long, eventually they, they explode as volcanoes. <laughs> 